She won an Olympic medal for her soccer skills, but she has one mega problem that most people share, and that's being on the road 15 days a month, rarely getting time to go to the gym. In her two new videos, uh, it's two, right? Mm -hmm. Fit as a fiddle. Fit as a pro. She's yes. fit as a pro. <laughs> Lauren Sesselman <laughs> shares the routines that help her play and look her best on the field and off. And you are allowing me to be the keeper yes. of this very heavy metal. May I? Yes, of course. Uh, feast your eyes on this Olympic prize. What a thing of beauty. Would you take it with you everywhere? Where do you keep it? Um, I keep it at home. Um, my mom has it actually with some Santas that she has in I like a little that. case. So I'm like, that's kind of an awkward place for it, but it works. <laughs> <laughs> they must be so proud of their beautiful daughter, Lauren. And now you're here to help us. Brad will be your athlete yes. du jour to take us through the paces. And He's we can ready. do this at home. That's your whole thing is you travel so much. There's no access to gyms. You have to stay fit. Yeah, everyone's excuse kind of nowadays is I have no time. You know, I'm always traveling and stuff like that. So a lot of the exercises that I have, you can do at home while you're traveling on the road. Like I did these exercises this morning in the bathroom. Oh, yeah? Yeah, in my hotel room. Okay, so, everybody. Yeah. Here we go. So, so you have a pillow? Exactly. So our first one that we're going to do is we're going to use the towels. It's going to be the arm and leg push-up extension. Um, I love doing towel workouts because they're easy. All you need is just some washcloths, a slippery surface. So you can do it in your kitchen, in a gym, anywhere. So just not a carpeted or Not a carpeted, yeah, yep. Surface. So all we're going to do is we're going to put a washcloth on your hands and your legs. Okay. We're going to get into a plank position. And then we're just going to go out into a push-up. Oh, my gosh, that looks hard. And back in. And now, out. Lauren, as you do this, because I know it's super hard, Brad is an athlete, so he makes it seem easy. Can you face plant if you've never done this before? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this <laughs> This is a Yeah, it's a, a tough move. one. It is. It's a tough one, but there's modified uh, versions of it, too. Yeah. So you can just work just your arms if you want, or you can work just your legs. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Are so you, you can go as fast or as slow as you want, too. Trying to really get that glute deep. <laughs> And the second one that we're going to go into is just a glute bridge. Um, I like to use things around the house. Um, I like to do a lot of stuff with the soccer ball, so Brad's going to use the soccer ball. So we're going to get our washcloths out of the way. Okay. And when you sweat, you also have materials to wipe the sweat. Yeah, we'll show this way. Okay. Because then they can see it. Okay. So I like to use a pillow. I like to put it between my legs like this, and just so you're putting the tension, and it actually helps you with the alignment of your body. It's going to go up into a glute bridge like this. And this is for your tush. Yes, Tight it is. Tush. And you're going to put your heels into the ground, and you're just going to lift your leg, oh, that's hold hard. it there for a couple seconds, slowly bring it down, and go into the next one. How many reps, Lauren? I like to do 10 on each leg, and then about three sets. 10 on each leg, three yep. sets. Now, again, if this is too hard, would you just say, go up, squeeze, go down, squeeze yep, like this? Yeah, you can do it like this. Okay. Otherwise, you can just do just a single leg. Good job, B unit. Yep. Okay, and last tight. but not least, Lauren, this okay. is just a sample of what's on your video, right? Yes, these are just a sample of some things. Um, we'll go into, he can hit the soccer ball. This is the three in one squat yep. that I like to do. I'm going to do a modified version because I'm going through a knee injury right now. Okay. Yeah. So, what he's going to do, you can either hold it out here or up above, and you're going to go into a wide squat, you're going to jump into a shoulder width squat, and then you're going to jump into a narrow squat go as down. fast as you can. Yep. So you're out here, down, in closer. And watch your form, and, and you take them narrow. through this on the video as well. Yep. Now, you can see all of this by going to breakfasttelevision.ca, get access to Lauren's videos. Nice job, B-Rad. Oh, yeah, also, we're going to see you in a movie soon. Yes. We're going to see you in a movie. Talk to us about it. Yes. Um, I'm going to be in Dark Awakening. Actually, my business partner on Fit as a Pro, um, Liliana Klickman, got me involved. Um, met her on Twitter, and she was like, hey, you want to be in a movie? So it's something I've always dreamed about doing, and I was lucky enough to have the opportunity. And, and it's a scary movie. Did you practice your scream? I did. I practiced my scream. But she, she <laughs> um, loves horror, so that was kind of the genre that she's in. And it was so much fun. Looking dream forward to seeing more of you. You have thank a you. cover girl, beautiful oh, thank you. look going on, and now you can get her body, too. BreakfastTelevision.ca. Follow her on Twitter, at L. Cecilman. Thank you so much. You okay, thank Brad? You. Yeah, yeah. He's breathing hey, heavy. Good job. That's, that's when you know it's a tough workout, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. It was really good, yeah. You catch your breath. Right now we'll go to Jen, who's also breathless because she loves shoe sales. And she's at a ginormous shoe opening right now.